chair fellow speakers. Evaluation time! And why not? Everyone wants to know how well they've done, and they also want to know about whatever learning points. What's the purpose of being in the speech club? Is to learn. So, we evaluate all the speeches. So, what is an A1 speech? And that is about vocabulary and word pictures, inclusive. But you don't just talk about the A1 as the word pictures and vocabulary, you incorporate past learning points, past levels, such as an F2 speech, which is speech construction. And we all know what speech construction is. And give me the three points of speech construction. Um, to start, to the middle, and then it's ending. <laughs> Perfect! Gotcha! <laughs> Next, and then there's an F3 speech, which is speaking with conviction. If you can incorporate that, brilliant. That just adds another dynamic to it. Another one, F4, use of gestures. You know, you can be as animated as you want. F5, the use of voice. You know, low, slow, high, direct, and you don't have to necessarily shout. But it might be appropriate to speech. So, an A1, evaluating the speech for Gable End Farm and beyond. First of all, the speaker came up to the podium, got herself all sorted out, wasn't flustered, gave a salutation, which Brian forgot on his <laughs> 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 learning point, Brian. No. And uh, so, yes, you can tell that this speaker has spoken in front of people before. She's an experienced person in this club, and she's spoken outside, as we all know. Right, the beginning of the speech uh, was good. It was talked about a little bit of dynamics, but I, I felt that the beginning, the introductory sentence could have been a, bit, a little bit more stronger, or focused on where you were going to go, or I'm, I'm not sure what it, what it was, but I think it could have been a little bit more dy dynamic, but it still got your point across about going into business and how you got there. Absolutely brilliant. It's a very interesting topic. You're confident in, in, this, in, this, in, the, com in the speech because you actually lived it, breathed it, did all the mucking about when you needed to, about horse business, and why not? A good, confident speaker does speak about past experiences, and that does come across in the speech, as this one did. It's about the trials and tribulations of doing the business. It didn't have to be about horses. All the notes that I have here could have been applied to any business especially if you start one on your own, and you just have to substitute horses or that environment, or diddly winks, or, you know, clothing, or shoes, or something, and you're trying to start something up. But yours was specific about horses, and the dynamics of starting up a business, not having the background, and learning from your mistakes, and capitalizing on your successes. That's what new business is. And she did that. She came across with that. Gestures. Lots of hand gestures. Uh, this wasn't the type of speech where you had to dance around the room, but she did have good hand gestures, use of, you know, I'm thinking about this, and over there, word pictures, horses in the fields. We can all imagine horses in the field. You are imagining what a horse in the field looks like. But my, that's just a slight learning point, is what kind of a field was it? Was it damp? Was it high grass? Was it dry? Were there fences around the area? What type of horse? What were their horses? You were just talking about water. That's okay. You could have got a little bit more descriptive on things, but the speech on the whole was good. Use of notes. Yes, we all like use of notes. Uh, that's sort of a little bit of a learning point. I think you maybe were referring to your notes quite a bit. It did 
You did look down quite a bit at your laptop for your note referral, but that's what notes are for. Even the most experienced speaker will have a little bit of brain fog sometimes. You need to look at the notes. I've got some notes here in front of me. So you look at them once, once in a while. Brilliant. Other little points of learning? Not very much. I don't know, I'm not going to be picky. I think you did a good speech. Maybe not brilliant, but it was a good speech. I enjoyed it. We all listened. We all learned. Maybe just less use of notes, possibly. I'm not going to understand that, but that's okay. You're still learning. That's the objective. Word pages, just maybe a little bit more description on your word pictures. But we still understood, you know, horses in the fields and the barns and so forth. I enjoyed that. And I would say, with the most definite, yes, you passed your A1 speech. I'm definitely looking forward to expanding your horizons with an A2. Thank you.